in this video i will consider one example to implement a boolean function using multiplexer implement the given function using 4 is to 1 multiplexer the given function is f of a b c is equal to summation 1 3 5 6 these are the mean terms and this is the given function which is in sop form so here the given function is f of a b c is equal to 1 3 5 6 these 1 3 5 6 are the mean terms a b c are the variables these variables should be used as select lines so here these variables are nothing but select lines we have to consider these as select lines but here he has mentioned that according to this function we have three variables that is we have three select lines if there are three select lines we know that 2 power 3 is equal to 8 so to implement this we need 8 is to 1 max we require 8 is to 1 max but here he has mentioned to use 4 is to 1 max so in that case what we supposed to do is we have to take among these three variables we have to consider two variables as a select lines and one variable as a data line so here i will assume b and c as a select line i will consider b and c as a select line and i will use a as a data input a as data input because in 4 is to 1 marks we have only two select lines so in that case we supposed to use only two variables as a select line and one of the variable will be used as data input now i will explain or i will tell you how to implement the three variable function using 4 is to 1 multiplexer for understanding purpose here i will write the truth table so that we can understand better we have three variables i will assume that a as msb and c as lsb let me write all possible values all possible inputs that is we have 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 these are the possible inputs also we know that in multiplexer 4 is to 1 multiplexer we have four inputs two select lines so here in these two select lines i will as i said i will assume b and c as a select line so i will use this b and c as a select line so here b is a msb and c is lsb and we have four inputs i will assume this is d0 d1 line d2 and d3 these are the inputs and here f is the output so here we know that, let me write the mean term for this this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is 7 so here according to the function 1 3 5 6 it means that these are the mean terms for these mean terms the output is high so that is 1 for 1 output is high 1 3 for 5 and for 6 rest all case it will be 0 so now as i said here among three variables i will use two variables as select lines that is b and c i have used as select line and a i will use it as data input now to implement this we have to write implementation table so let me write the implementation table that is implementation table so the implementation table will be something like this so here in the first row we have to write all possible inputs input lines that is here we have d0 d1 d2 and we have d3 so in next two rows we have to write all uh, mean terms in two rows that is these all mean terms i will write as 0 we have 1 2 3 and remaining mean terms i will write here in second row 4 5 6 and 7 so here as i said this b and c i am using it as data line uh, sorry select lines and a i will use it as data input so here we can observe that for mean term 0 1 2 and 3 
the value of a is 0 0 0 0 that is for these three for these values the value of a is 0 value of a is 0 and for these min terms 4 5 6 7 the value of a is that is 1 so here I can write, I can use this data input as A as data input such that for 0, 1, 2, 3, its value is low, that is 0. So for 0, 1, 2, 3, I will write here as A bar because for 0, 1, 2, 3 min terms, the value of A is 0, that is A bar and for 4, 5, 6, 7, value of A is 1. So here for 4, 5, 6, 7 value of A is 1. 1 means we have to use direct variable like this. So this is how we have to write the implementation table. Now in implementation table for these variables 1, 3, 5, 6 we have to put the circle. That is 1, 3, 5, 6. So for these values the output is 1. Therefore we have to put the circle like this. Now, once we put the circle, if any column, if it does not cover any circle, then the value of that input is 0. So, here we can see that in 0, there is no circle. For 4, there is no circle. So, for D0 input, the value is 0. So, here we can observe that both 1 and 5 are circle. If both the values in the column or circle, then we have to consider as that data line value will be 1. So, we have to connect 1 to line D1. We have to connect 0 to line D0. Similarly, here we can observe that only in, in, in this column, only for 6 there is a circle and for 2 there is no circle. So, here for 6 is correspond to A. So, for D2 line, we have to connect variable A. As I said, a, I am using it as data line. So, here in this case, 3 is with respect to row A bar. So, for D3, we have to connect it as A bar. So, now let me connect this. So, here D0 line should be connected to 0. So, this D0, it should be connected to 0. 0 is given to D0 input and 1 is given to 1 and 5 sorry, uh, 1 is given to D1. So, for D1, we have to connect 1, we have to give logic high and for D2, A will be connected. For D2, A is connected. That is, A value is connected to D2 and for D3, A bar value is connected. For D3, A bar is connected. So, here we can, we can consider the enable line that is active low. Now let me verify this 4 is to 1 max. As I said here, when B is 0 and C is 0, that is when B is 0, C is 0, so F value will be, that D0 line will be connected to F. So F value is equal to 0. So we got this as 0. When it is 0, 1, when B is 0 and C is 1, line D1 is connected to F. In that case, F is equal to 1. So this is true. When it is 1, 0, so, when B is 1 and C is 0, line D2 is connected to F. Line D2 is connected to F. So, in that case, F is equal to A. So, here we can see when it is 1 and 0, value of A is 0. So, we got it as 0. So, now when B is equal to 1 and C is equal to 1, F will be connected to D3 line where D3 line is nothing but A bar. So, here it is A is 0, its bar is 1. So, we got it as correct answer. So, so similarly, it is true for, for these mean terms also. That is when it is 0, 0. Again, F is equal to 0. When it is 0, 1, one line is connected to F. That is 0, 1. Its value is 1. When it is 1, 0. So, D2 line is connected to F. So, F is equal to A. That is here, F is equal to A. A is value is 1. So, F is equal to A. Similarly, when it is 1, 1, D3 line is connected to F. D3 is nothing but A bar. Here A is 1, A bar is 0. So, this is how we can implement any given Boolean function using 4 is to 1 multiplexer. Thank you for watching.